Warm welcome, Markus Thiamin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch, Astrological Horary Book or Astrological Book of the Hours. It's the 16th of November 2023 and the moon has changed from its after new moon position Sagittarius to the sign of Capricorn. Now this means, seen from the position of the moon in Scorpio as a new moon position, as a new uploading of um, transformative energy in the sign of Capricorn, though Capricorn is an idea of stability and, and um, clear order, um, we will have to combine this now with the spacey ties of Gemini because it's the third position after the new moon position to be seen from the signs. That means this Capricorn moon is to be uh, taken as one that has to be combined with the idea of um, intelligence, uh, movement, uh, knowledge. You know, this is all what gets us to stability, Capricorn, or even authority dealing with our own affairs, with our own needs in our own personal life. So that's the situation. And of course, when the moon is evolving from the new moon side, it's always like the butterflies opening up his wings again. Uh, there's another aspect which seems to be very important for me today, which is the upcoming trine in between Mars, Sun and Neptune. Though this aspect will be exact tomorrow, it's one of those aspects that uh, might have a chance of um, dissolving or, how, how could we say, re-evolving events um, taking back things that are not necessarily livable or or uh, practical or whatever it is because Neptune is retrograde that's the point you know we have a trine in between Mars and Neptune so it's all about taking taking action in a in a sense of um, uh, let your dreams come true, put it that way, but then how could dreams become true with a retrograde Neptune? So it's taking away maybe a decision that has been made before. Uh, we can see that in German politics today, but I'm not going to go into that rabbit hole in um, English language right now, but it's one of those aspects that you can also use in your personal chart to rethink um, decisions that have been made before and maybe there is even a little stitch because of that you know maybe it hurts a little bit because mars is the one who does things like that it depends on the position of your chart for instance if you are a taurus rising and you have Mars right on the peak of your seventh house, you know, um, you might feel that and it might stitch you and it might be not 100% comfortable, but it also might lead you to a new perspective. Okay, that's the day today for me. This is the 16th of December 2023. If you want to get in contact, just use this mail address. You'll find the conditions for a consultation down at my blog site. Thank you very much for listening. This is Markus Termin on the 16th of November 2023.